In this video, I am going to try to provide a motivation for using a concept called inheritance that you can use in your programs. So let me start off with a simple example. Um, I have a project here with a my phone and a my pod. A my phone consists of three instance variables, uh, memory, color, and carrier. And I have a uh, zero argument constructor here and a three argument constructor along with a two string that prints things out. Uh, pretty standard class. And then I have a MyPod, which is almost identical, uh, except it just does not have the carrier. It has the 0 arg, 2 arg, and 3 arg uh, in the two string method. Um, and then I have a driver that creates one of e two of each, actually. Um, two phones using the 0 and the 3 argument constructor, a MyPod using the 0 and the 2 argument constructor. Okay, and this should work just fine if I run it. So here are my two phones. There's the zero arg, that's the three argument constructor. I specified some information there. There's the zero arg, and there's the uh, two argument constructor. So everything works fine, so it's not a problem. So, uh, sometimes in my programs I want to create collections of things like arrays or array lists or 2D arrays of objects. So I can very easily do that, not a problem. I can create an array list of my phone objects. Call it my phones equals new array list of my phone. Great. And I can do the same thing with pods. I'll just cut and paste that thing, change it to pod. So I have multiple phones, multiple pods, my pods. All right. And of course, I would need to use the import java.util. Array list. Okay, so it's not a problem. I can create an array list of my phones, my pot objects. But what if I were running a program for an online store that sold both? And you want to have a shopping cart that can hold both. So I'll say array list of hmm of what? Now if I specify my pods, then I can't hold my phones. If I specify my phones, I can't hold my pods. I, basically, I can only store one thing. So in this shopping cart of hopefully my pods and my phones, how do I do that? What do I put there? What do I put where the question marks are? Um, so the answer is inheritance. I can create a new class, we'll call, and it's actually called a super class, that and you'll see in the next example, it's called my device, which is a more general term for a my phone or my a my phone or my pod that basically can hold either a my device can hold can be a my pod, can be a my phone, can be my this or my that. I can hold different types of objects, seemingly different types of objects, in an array list. And I can process them. I can call their two string methods. I can call their method call of maybe get price, uh, get discount. I can call all those methods on them, even though they're really different things. So that's the motivation for inheritance is uh, creating collections, like an array list, of uh, different objects. Uh, and as you can see here, my phone, my pod, no problem. Putting them together presents me with a problem, but I can solve that with an inheritance. Uh, tree. In the next video, I'll walk through the details of how this is actually done and show how we can create this new array list of my device objects.